first day is a children's series that we made for the ABC here in Australia. It's written and directed by a Sydney-based director, Julie Kalsef, and she and I met at an industry conference. Uh, we were both making web series at the same time and over a couple of years got to know each other before she presented me with a one-page idea for first day. Um, it's about a transgender girl who's starting high school and presenting as her authentic self in public or at school for the first time. And we both just really resonated with the story and the potential to tell such an important story for children's television and make an impact in the world. For us, First Day was always about the story and trying to create opportunities for trans kids to see themselves on screen and for all kids to recognise what it might be like to walk in someone else's shoes. We never expected awards, we never expected international recognition, but from the moment people have been seeing it, it seems to be having that impact. We've recently just won an Emmy, an International Kids Emmy, which is phenomenal, but it's come off the back of a string of other international awards, including a Rose Door, a Glad Media Award, a Kids Screen Award and a Prix Jeunesse Award. I studied a Bachelor of Creative Arts in screen production and a diploma in language in Spanish. And I chose Flinders because at the time it seemed to be the only university that had a really practical film focused course. I kind of came into Flinders knowing I wanted to work in film, but not really having an understanding of what the opportunities were. I came in expecting to be a director because that was the only role that I'd ever heard of. And throughout my time here, tried a whole range of different skills and ended up leaving having specialised in cinematography. So I spent the first five or so years of my career in camera department. When I was starting out, working in the industry in camera department, I went overseas a couple of times and had the opportunity to see some sets internationally and as well working with international stars on films that I was working on as a camera assistant here and those two diverse sets of experiences really solidified for me that it was possible to do anything from Adelaide and South Australia and have it compete on a world stage so I think I knew that in theory but it wasn't or well, it's not until you actually manage to carry out a project from start to finish yourself and see that recognition come back, that it really hits home that, wow, South Australia is a place where we do world-class work and we have a world-class filmmaking community. A career in film is one where you have to constantly assess and reassess what you're doing and what your next steps forward will be. Um, even as a business owner, um, my business to date has really been about which individual projects are we taking on and then almost creating a new business around each project. So now I'm starting to take a step back and look at the big picture of what does a sustainable company look like and how do I make an even bigger impact with my work than just producing individual projects one after the other. But right from the start, coming out of university, you know, you almost have to work as a freelancer and go from job to job. So you learn to be strategic and agile and yeah, it's really about creating those opportunities for yourself rather than expecting them to be handed to you. I think it's very easy to have the tools and the cameras and the ideas, but it's not necessarily easy to develop those into something that will work out in the industry. And the ability to study at an institution like Flinders and to meet future collaborators and to test your ideas in an environment where you're constantly getting feedback um, is really important. So it's almost like a safe launching pad to take off and begin your career.